Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum Al Khan here and today we see some examples on the properties of whatever that we've discussed you know till now on the unit impulse signal before uh, going to the properties to the examples I did not talk in detail about the time shifting so I believe you know it but I said let me talk so let's say you have a signal uh, uh, delta of t, right? Delta of t is the signal what? It's located at t is equal to 0 with a weight of 1. This 1 we write is, is the weight, okay? Now if you time shift it, you can time shift it. Let's say it is now t minus 1. So now it would be located at a positive 1. This would be the impulse with weight 1. Fine? This is at t equal to 1. Similarly, you can shift it to the other side. Let's say I time shift it and I say it is t plus 1. Delta of t plus 1. So, what would be the case? Now it would be located, the impulse would be located at t equal to negative 1 with a weight of 1. Fine. This was time shifting. Similarly, uh, for time scaling that I did not discuss in the detail. Uh, so let's say you have a signal uh, delta of t, you time scale it, it becomes a t. So now this would be equal to uh, 1 over the absolute of a times delta of t. And this is what you know. For example, we have a negative 2t as a. So let's say we have the example negative 2t. So this would equal 1 over the absolute of negative 2 delta of t 1 over 2 delta of t so this is the same uh, impulse now with a weight of 0.5 or 1 over 2 so the multiplication property that we discussed so let's say we have an example let's say the example is we have y of t is equal to uh, 2t squared y of t is equal to 2t squared into delta of t minus 3 delta of t minus 3 now what have we seen we've seen that as uh, you know if you multiply a signal x of t with delta of t minus tau so you have x of tau delta of t minus tau this is the property, the multiplication property. So have a look over here now. X of t is what? X of t is 2t squared. Let out delta of t minus tau is this function. So you have x of tau. Tau is equal to 3. Tau is equal to 3. So you have a y of t would equal uh, x of 3 into this. So it means 2 times 3 squared delta of t minus 3 so 3 3's are 9 and 9 2's are 18 so we have 18 times delta of t minus 3 now what does this mean what does this 18 times delta minus 3 mean this is an impulse with weight 18 or strength 18 located at t is equal to plus 3 so this means what that this is an impulse of strength 18 located at t is equal to plus 3. Fine. Let's say we have the next example y of t is equal to cos of 4t multiplied with delta of 2t minus pi. Delta of 2t minus pi. Have a look again, it's the multiplication property. But have a look, we have the time scaling involved. So we take out the time scaling first. So which means that our y of t would become what? Cos of 4t into delta of, uh, you have two common, so you have a t minus pi by 2. So now this 2 is the time scaling factor. You take it out as the absolute, okay? So you have cos of 4t into 1 over 2. The absolute right and then you have delta of t minus pi by 2 
So 1 over 2 is taken outside. Now have a look. Uh, x of t is cos of 4t and delta of t minus 2 is this thing. So you put the value of, of pi by 2 in this t. So you have uh, y of t would equal what? Cos of 4 times pi by 2. 1 over 2 is original. And you have sigma of delta of t minus pi by 2. So it's 2 pi cos of 2 pi is 1. And this 1 over 2 and this thing. So which means that y of t comes out to be 1 over 2 times delta of t minus pi by 2. Now you can write it for yourself. This is a weighted impulse with weight 1 over 2 located at t is equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 2. Isn't it so? It is. Now, uh, let's say let's say we have another example. Let's say the third is we have an integration, negative infinity to positive infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity, cos of pi t into t, the second derivative of second derivative of uh, lambda of t minus 1 this is dt so how do you do it okay now how do you do it so the property that we, we we saw for this thing was what so let me write the property over here again that we have negative infinity to positive infinity uh, x of t the nth derivative x of t the nth derivative of lambda of t minus 1 dt so this would equal what uh, negative 1 to the power n uh, and a derivative of x of t at t is equal to t is equal to tau oh, t is equal to t1 this is t1 this is t1 t is equal to t1 and this was only applicable if if x of t at t is equal to uh, infinity is 0 or finite x of t at t is equal to 0 is 0 or finite right is 0 or finite so so first we check for the condition if t is equal to infinity what is the value of cos of t so cos is a function which ranges from negative 1 to positive 1 so this is a a, a, a what a finite range Whatever be the uh, domain, the range is negative 1 to positive 1, so which means it has a finite value at t is equal to 0. And uh, at t is equal to 0, uh, this is what? Cos of 0 is 1. So this is the finite value. So we can implement this formula. So you have x of t, then you have the nth derivative of this thing. So this would equal what? Now this thing would equal a negative 1 to the power n which is a square in this case. Then you have the n derivative dg2 of x of t. So x of t is this. Cos of pi t at t is equal to t1. Isn't it so? is equal to t1 right so we we'll put it later on so the, the derivative of uh, cos is the sine and then the derivative of sine is again cos but you will have a negative sign once right and this pi would come out to be pi squared right this one would, would be one this negative one squared would be one so you would have the second derivative of cos pi t as negative pi squared cos pi t isn't it so yes and so and, and you have to put t is equal to t1 in this case and t1 in this case is from here have a look it's 1 t1 is 1 so you put the value over here the integration would be what it would be negative pi times cos of pi and the value of t is 1 so cos of pi would be negative 1 and you have a negative pi squared so this would imply that the value of integration is equal to pi square. This is the answer, okay? I have another example as well, okay? So I have one, two, two three more examples, so I would remove the book.
So number four, let's say I write over here, whatever the number is, it's negative five to four. delta of t minus 5 dt. So what would be the integration of this? So, so when given this sort of functions you first draw the waveform. So what does delta of t minus 5 mean? Delta of t minus 5 means that it is an impulse located at t is equal to 5. Now the integration is from negative 5 to positive 4. So from somewhere from here negative 5 to positive 4. So have a look. It does not cover the impulse signal. If it did so it would be 1 but it does not cover so it is equal to 0. Fine. Similarly if you now change the limit negative 5 to 4. Let's say you have a negative 5 to 4 delta of t minus 2 dt. So now what would be the case? So which means that now it is located at t is equal to plus 2. So now it includes this and if it includes the unit impulse, so the area would equal to 1. Fine? The next. Let's say we have, we have the, the sixth question is that x of t is equal to sine of t x of t uh, wait this is equal to sine of t and this is multiplied with delta of 2t minus pi multiplied with delta of 2t minus pi have a look again the multiplication property so you take first this out so x of t is equal to sine of t delta of you take 2 common you have a t minus pi by 2 and you take this out of it so you have a sine of t you have 1 over 2 is absolute you have delta of t minus pi by 2 you put pi by 2 in place of t sine of pi by 2 is 1 sine of pi by 2 into 1 over 2 is absolute delta of t minus pi by 2 sine of pi by 2 is 1 x of t is equal to 1 and this is 1 over 2 is over here and delta of t minus pi by 2 so this would equal 1 over 2 times delta of t minus pi by 2 so we mean that this is an impulse with weight 1 over 2 located at t is equal to plus pi by 2 I'm sorry for the handwriting because I'm a little tired <coughs> sorry the last question the last question is let's say the integration this equals negative infinity to positive infinity exponential of negative 2 t delta of negative 2 t plus 1 so again the same procedure is applied what is the procedure you you first handle the time scaling so i would equal negative infinity positive infinity exponential negative 2 t you take this common so t negative 1 over 2 Five, you put it outside the in the absolute negative infinity positive infinity <coughs> exponential negative 2t you have 1 over the absolute of negative 2 you have delta you have t minus 1 over 2 isn't it so it is right now you handle it what was the property you put the value of tau over there property number 8 I believe it was so you take this 1 over 2 common first outside of uh, this integration negative infinity positive infinity exponential negative 2t of t minus 1 over 2 so you put 1 over 2 uh, into this right so you put 1 over 2 into this function so this so it would be equal to 1 over 2 exponential of negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 so you have uh, the answer of this integration is uh, 1 over 2 exponential of negative 1 now you don't have to confuse it this one with this one over here have a look we don't have the integration it is just simple multiplication 
But over here we have the multiplication, we have to find out the area. So these are two different properties. That's all about today. That's some, uh, all about this unit impulse signal. But I have something else that is the relationship between unit impulse and unit step. That we see after we have seen the unit step function. So till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.